if you're discerning a vocation, you know, please um, uh, don't ignore it. And that's my first thing to say, do not ignore that call from your heart, you know. It's because I believe every call for the religious life is coming from God. Every vocation is, is initiated by God. Only what we do is we just responding, you know, to that call. So um, if you feel uh, feel like, you know, God calling you, I think we have to do is the first thing, you know, spend some time in prayer and have that heart to heart talk with Jesus, you know, and maybe in front of the Blessed Sacrament, be, you know, in silence, spend time with Jesus. Sometimes you know, we're not very used to the prayer and uh, this uh, world, you know, is a more secular world and it's a hard, many uh, worldly noises are too much. So it's very hard to, sometimes very hard to know if I really have a call. It's very hard to discern that call. So that's what I'm saying, uh, give it, you know, always prayerfully consider uh, the vocation and spend time in prayer. Also, it's good to talk to um, maybe our priests and the religious and maybe a religious sister and uh, talk to them so they can uh, guide you or even they can uh, give your their advice and that can make you uh, and, uh, more strong and even they can answer some of your questions you may have. To the parents uh, and in, even in the parish level we have to pray for the vocation. The reason I said uh, because of the noisy world, you know, some youth they cannot know uh, listen to this call we have to support them with our prayers so that way they will be able to listen to their call we have to pray in the you know uh, uh, sacraments receiving the sacraments and praying Jesus asking Lord's help at that time also uh, as the intercession of Mother Mary uh, praying the rosary or in devotional prayers to Mother Mary asking Mother Mary to help you um, I'm pretty sure our Lord is good and Lord you know, won't you know, um, disappoint you and he will give you the right guidance and once you join and uh, then you will know you know this is your place and because some people say they they don't feel that uh, joy they have everything in the world you know a person can have everything you know good study job everything but they don't they always feel an emptiness in their heart so finally when they able to find the vocation then they know they felt the peace. So if you're really one of those persons, you know, um, not finding that peace, maybe you better check it out and, you know, pray and find out your call. I personally think, you know, God will show you, you know, if you're not called, God won't give you that inspiration. Uh, and also you can always, the motivation, if you have a real, I just want to have a good job or position, that's what I'm going to lay life. That's wrong, you know. So you, you can just, uh, or I want to be in a big positions, you know, or I want to be famous, that's why I'm going to be a priest. <laughs> that's not, you know. So the, you can see what is the motivation behind it. So if you really pray, sit in God's presence and just ask Jesus, what, what reason? So if you really feel like, you know, none of those things, you know, I really want to serve God. Uh, and you know then that you can be sure that's God's maybe somebody tell you that oh you can be a good uh, priest then maybe that's God calling me that way then you can you know further more in consider in prayer more time and you know spending time alone in front of the blessed sacrament Jesus will talk I personally think every youth had to go for a commensy program <laughs> because I, I I am so joyful in this life you know uh, I think Everybody, God has a plan for every person. So if you call to this religious life, that's the only place you feel, you know, that you know, joy in your life or the peace in your life. So there's nothing wrong with it. Just going and um, go and talk to command pro and attend the command program. God will clearly tell you, you know, oh, this is not your call. No, I, I believe so. Uh, if doc, doc, uh, God really calling you you will be able to, you know, that's the place you can just get in. That will be opening the way, you know, door for you. So I think it's always good to talk to, uh, you know, a direct spiritual director or a attending or commencing program is always a good thing. There is no stigma around it. <laughs> I am Sister Asha Kuliaren. Um, I'm the uh, Safe Environment Coordinator here in Saint, sorry, in the Holy Spirit Parish. 
I'm, I'm very happy to be a you know religious uh, a, a religious sister and uh, I'm grateful to God for giving me that call and I was able to respond to that call and so anybody uh, likes to you know to talk um, happy to you know help or to share my you know story or help in your path uh, if you you know discerning a religious vocation or for any questions you know we can you know I can uh, do that and I'll be keeping you all uh, especially the youth in my prayer uh, you know for to discern you know God's will for you all and please keep me also in your prayers thank you